Exactly, that provides that for us. Absolutely. So that's a bit, that's a requirement. For the Jello brand, one in Chicago, one in New York. Um, the machines are powered by three i5 core processors, as well as the anonymous video analytics AIM suite. Um, the reason we're using AIM, um, Jello Temptations is advertised as the first to serve for adults only. So what we're doing is part of the experience when a child walks up to the machine, advanced uh, uh, anonymous video analytics can tell that the child's underage. We shut the machine down, we pop up a message saying, sorry kids, you're too young for this, bring an adult back and they can get their free sample. Uh, it's to extend our brand messaging for the sampling platform. So on TV, it's all about temptations are for adults. Now we have a platform that, that basically says, if you're not an adult, you can't get your samples. So it's a good extension of the brand message. Uh, as you walk up to the machine and, and touch it, it will scan the audience in front of it using the AVA. So it's looking to see if there's any children here. If it sees one, like I said, it will shut down. If it doesn't, it will take you to an authentication screen. The authentication screen, we're giving away free samples. Uh, you see there's no coin slots or anything. We don't want you taking all the free samples. So how do we stop them? So either through uh, SMS or through Google Wallet. So in this case, we have Google Wallet running. Uh, we're not using it for payment, we're using it purely for uh, authentication. So I'm going to use name and that as well. Yeah, we're just using it to, to say that you went to this machine. So I'm going to scan Google Wallet. Once it identifies me, it will pass me onto the flavor screen. So now I can pick a flavor. Select. It actually will give you whatever you want, so choose wisely. Let me give you my card so you have any questions. So. We have a refrigerated machine in here. This is a refrigerated product. Uh, very convenient to spend height, light it so the consumers can you know, see it. The machine is branded. Um, but the important thing here is, is not as much the, um, the Jello experience, although the Jello experience is very interesting and engaging. What we built here is a, a bigger architecture. The architecture allows us to see one branded experience and um, using this, this is our um, kind of dashboard, our, our uh, management dashboard. I can then say, I want to take Jello and by pushing sync, I can take all the Jello machines that are out in the field and convert them to Cadmary machines on the fly. So all you have to do is change the product inside the machine, you have a completely different experience. What's happening now behind me, as you can see now, we have the Cadbury experience running. Cadbury branding, everything's captured. We didn't change those. Uh, we can change the wall or a dynamic. I'm only working on the front one, but I can change the whole machine. We can have different things running on the different screens, depending on what you want. So here we have a very similar sampling experience. This is still sampling, no product sales. Uh, you would get a code from SMS. You enter the code, and now you can pick your product, scroll through what you like. If you see something you like, let me know. Yeah, absolutely. Crunchy. Crunchy. Fingers, you can taste it. What we've done with this is we've incorporated uh, a gesture-based game. So while the product's bending from the machine, we've given something that the consumer can interact with. So a little quick uh, connect trick game where you can now. This was done uh, originally for the Cadbury Spots and Stripes campaign in the UK. So so it's another way for your brand to engage at point of sale or point of sampling, keep them at the machine longer, keep them with your logo. So they just went through the demo behind us as was the Adidas. Is um, taking us from the free sampling platform into our um, digital vending, our, our, our DigiTouch platform. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm switching it over. And this is our uh, digital vending experience. Traditional vending, but taken to a new level. So we have product views, ingredients, nice and big, so you can read them if you wear glasses like me, nutritional information. We have a shopping cart model versus your normal vending where you buy everything individually. Once you um, find what you like, we have pay with credit card. So again, I like Google Wallet, I'm not a big fan of Android. They used to. Um, scan, you'll get a, a dollar credit to your account. Gamma. Okay, there's your dollar, and then you can click dispense, and you, you got your vending. So we've taken 
one set of hardware, one set of software created two vending experiences, a sampling, uh, two sampling experiences and a vending experience. And what's on top of all of that, the gravy, is the fact that because we're using digital displays, everything's also digital signage. So you can run advertising on top of all of this, uh, as you saw on top of Digi. We have, uh, we can do endemic and non-endemic advertising for products that are in the machine. If the machine is running in an airport, you can advertise United Airlines, you can advertise whatever you want. And because we're using the, um, the anonymous video analytics, this is um, what's running right now on our two Jello sampling experiences in, in Chicago and New York. So this is live data from our, our two runs. So you can very easily see times of day, what the favorite products are, what the demographics, which you got the ABA stuff, so you know men or women are. So if you're targeting a female audience and all that's coming are men, you know your message is wrong. Um, and you can see... We um, already have two of them in test the market. Yes, we have two in test that are unattended right now running in New York and Chicago. Um, so, and so you can see very easily if, you know, Jello went out of market today.